Halacha is you're not allowed to buy any new clothes. New clothes, a person should refrain from buying, even if he doesn't plan to wear them during the nine days. I plan to wear them after Chabia. Doesn't make a difference. A person should not purchase new clothes. Halacha says, Asul it for begadim hadashim biyamim elu, mechel it for naalim hadashot. Person should not make, sew any kind of clothes, new clothes during this period of time, or new shoes during this period of time. He says, the uman shparnasot person who his business, that's what he does as a living. In such a case, he has a hetel, he needs to, up until Shavua Shehaba, which would mean he's allowed to work still throughout this week, up until next week, then he has to stop the next week till the Shabbat. Ladies, the asul and ashim nukom rikma. Ladies should not do any kind of embroidery. Sometimes they, they're doing the talet or whatever for, for their son, for their son in law, whatever it is that they, they want to make the, the, the talit big for them. In such a case, they should not do it during this period of time. They shouldn't do the embroidery during this period of time. He said, but well, let's say a person wants to fix a garment that he already has. For example, he had a jacket and the button fell off and he wants to fix the button. <laughs> then in such a case, it's mutar. A person is allowed to fix a vinyl. Let's say he got a little rip and he wants to put a patch or he wants to sew it up a little bit to be able to fix it. Again, these are all cases where a person, this is not new clothes, rather it's old clothes. So in such a case, old clothing that you want to fix in order that you should continue to wear it, a person is allowed to fix it so he should be able to wear it. If a person owns a factory, and in the factory he has workers, so really technically, the factory should not be working during this period of time. However, in a case where a person is definitely in need of the money, or in a case where his workers are going to be paid regardless, and he can't send them home, and he has to pay them for this whole week without them doing any work, it's going to cause him a tremendous loss. In such a case, he has what to rely on. He's allowed to allow them to continue to work. And he brings down that he can even allow them to work during Shabu Shehalbo. He could even work next week. If you're going to have a loss of money where the workers are going to be paid and you're not going to get any, uh, they're not going to end up doing any work, that's going to be a tremendous loss for your business. In such a case, the person is allowed to, again, rely on the heterim of allowing the workers to work during this period of time. He says also, sometimes in schools or in camps, they'll have activities where they do some kind of embroidery, they'll do some kind of uh, sewing. In such a case, a person is allowed to allow the children to do it. Again, they're not doing it for uh, umanut, they're not doing it as, a, as, a, as something to do, but rather as an activity. In such a case, they're allowed to do it. And even if they're doing it for the mood, they're learning, that's all mutar during this period of time. Zakwa. Zakwa. Zakwa.